So I'm gonna try and make a video while I'm walking by from work. There's a lot of tourists around here, so uh, I may not look that weird if I film me and stuff, but I'm still filming and talking to myself, so people might think I'm crazy. Um, I had the craziest day at work today. Um, my purse got stolen. Uh, there was a client, I, I work in the lawyer's office, I'm the receptionist, and I was out for lunch just in the lunchroom, like behind my desk. And uh, yeah, this uh, this lady, she was waiting for her uh, for her lawyer to get back to the office so she can meet with him. And uh, I went to my desk to, to get my purse, to get my smokes, to have a cigarette before I, uh, I start working. And uh, when I went to the, my desk, I saw that it was missing. So I started going nuts. I worked. I, I was looking like everywhere in the office. I even looked in the bathroom twice, <laughs> and it still was not there. So um, I thought quickly, I should call my cell phone. If I left my purse somewhere I'm not supposed to, I'll just hear my cell phone and I'll get to it. And then I started hearing my cell phone ringing from this girl's bag. So I went. I walk up to her and I say, "Can you open your bag, please?" And she says, "No." So I was not. I have people here. Sorry. So, yeah, sorry about that. There's like a massive amount of tourists around here. Okay, so what I was saying is, she wouldn't open her bag and her lawyer stepped in at the same moment. So he took her into her, his office and uh, went through her backpack and she had it. So, yeah, I was kind of pissed. And uh, afterwards I was like, well, nothing's missing in there, so I don't think I'm gonna call the police on her. And I know she already has uh, problems with the law because she has a, a criminal defense law, you know what I mean? <coughs> so, um, uh, I was going to leave it that way, but then as she decided to uh, step out and take the elevator, she told me that uh, she was going to uh, beat me up. So yeah, I had to call the cops and I had to uh, write down a report. And that was lots of fun. And funny fact, I had made some uh, homemade donuts this weekend and I had made too many, so I brought some at work and there were some donuts left in the kitchen when I was taking my deposition with the cops and they wanted some donuts. <laughs> and they told me that they were really good and I was a great cook and everything. But, um, well, the end of the story is and that, that lawyer is not gonna represent that girl anymore. Uh, for reasons it will not tell me but sounds obvious and uh, yeah that's pretty much the story oh and yeah if uh, if she pleads not guilty I will have to go to court and testify against her which is kind of funny because I work in a law office and I'm probably gonna have to go to court which I never do because I just answer the phone for these people but yeah it's possible that I have to go to court for this thing <sighs> quite the story so yeah, I'm just uh, I just on my I'm on my way back to uh, from work to, to my house, and uh, yeah, people must probably think I'm crazy talking to myself in English because this is Montreal and most of the people speak French. Je parle français très bien. C'est ma première langue. It's my first language, French, you know. <laughs> so uh, yeah, um, people think I'm crazy. And, oh, there's stairs here, so I'm just gonna go and see you in a minute. Bye.